let's talk about the vaccination rate because 95% of any given community has to be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity. And I still think, even though we talked about this during COVID, there's a lot of confusion. And one of my followers asked me to ask you, how does herb, herd immunity actually work? So let's say that you can't be vaccinated. You can't be vaccinated because you're getting chemotherapy for your cancer or immune suppressive therapy for other reasons. You depend on those around you to, to protect you. So you can have enough people around you who are vaccinated that it's virtually impossible for the virus to sort of get in and get to you, to spread from one person to the next and then ultimately get to you. And so it's really that 95% uh, figure is attainable. We did attain it. That's how we were able to eliminate this virus. And, you know, I, I just... I, I will, the, the thing that upset me the most that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. said, at one point in that do, day two, when he had his Fox op-ed piece, he said, community immunity is important. There are people who can't be vaccinated. Exactly right. And then he said, but it's a personal choice. It's your choice whether or not to catch and transmit this infection. And I, there was a measles outbreak in California in 2014, 2015. And associated with that outbreak, there was a state senator who basically introduced a bill to eliminate the philosophical vaccine exemption in California. It's a state that didn't have a religious exemption. So therefore, it was only going to be medical exemptions. And the anti-vaccine people obviously rose up. They didn't want to see that happen. But there was a little boy who was a... Um, he had leukemia. His name was Rhett Crowett. And he, he would come to these meetings. He was so brave. And he would stand up. He would have to get on a stool because he was too small. And he would say, I have leukemia. Um, I can't be vaccinated. I depend on you to protect me. Don't I count? And when, when RFK Jr. says it's a personal choice, I guess the answer to Rhett's question is no, he doesn't count.